Okay, so this is a Honda engined, it's a synchro generator on it. It's a brushless one. There's your brush at the bottom of the thing. So, uh, I just check it around, make sure all these wires are intact. If they split, it's a sign that it's been overheating. Look at the colour of it. This one looks alright, it does look a bit darker there, but it's probably a shadow. Check the rotor as well, make sure it spins alright. But, we're going to be testing the coils on this, so... I think there's two 110 volts, and then you've got like a, a coil that... It's an exciter coil, it gets the generator started. And that connects to your capacitor. And the capacitor is two grey wires. So these two grey wires at the, at the end are your capacitor, and the other four are your main coils, so your stator coils. And they go to your sockets, obviously. So we've got a set to continuity. You don't want to spread these apart, so don't put them in too harsh. So we've got 5.5 ohms on the capacitor winding. If you get into short circuit or really low ohms or an OL, then that's a problem. So I don't know which wires are which on this. I'm just going to select the first one and then go around. So it looks like the opposite. As soon as you get a reading, you know that's the other side of the coil. So that's 1.3, 1 1.3 ohms. So the next one should be diagonally opposite to it. It should be exactly the same reading. So yeah, very close. It's 1.2 on that, 1.3 on there, that's close enough. <clears throat> so if you had way out readings, that would be a problem. And obviously again, a short circuit or open circuit. So that's it, really easy tests. You can test the capacitor one for gener voltage generation. I think it's supposed to be about 5 volts. But that would mean getting it running and everything, so I ain't quite that far yet. While you're here, you may as well test the capacitor. So. Set the capacitance. I know this one's alright already, I've done it. Two grey wires. On this one, anyway. So 15.5, if you read on it, it says 16, so that's pretty close. 